Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the random variable. Today we will discuss the important topic that is the functions of the random variable and the method we will call as the transformation method. Myself, Dr. Agar. What is the objective of my this lecture is? The question arises here is how you find the probability density function of the y when x probability density function of the x is given. Also you can see how you can find the probability density function of the y if it is here and so on. So that type of the question is definitely asked in the IIT jam gate as well as the uh, net examinations are there. So this you can see within a one minute you can solve any of the questions. So what is the trick behind that? You can simply see if x is any continuous random variable having the PDF f of x. So this is given to you. So make sure that then any of the transformation y is equal to vx. What is the vx is here is? So if I call this as my function of the x. So this is the vx. This is the function of the x. This is the function of x. These are called as the vx. Then this whatever the function transformation you have taken that must satisfy these two properties. It must be the continuous differentiable. It is either the non-decreasing or the non-increasing over the range of the x for which f of x is non-zero. Then once any of the transformation y satisfy these two properties, then we can define the PDF of the y by using this expression. How we can find them? We can easily solve them. So if it has more than one points are there, then you can add them like this way. So see, we will discuss the 10 quotients uh, in this video. Within the 10 minutes, you can see one minutes for the one question are there. So remember that uh, the first example is if x is a uniform distribution function of the 0, 1, you have to find the function PDF of the y. That's very simple. So firstly, you have to find the PDF of the x. So is it given to you? Yes, it, because it is a uniform distribution. So all of you know that what is the PDF of the uniform distribution is 1 upon b minus a. So you can write here. Once you have to define the PDF of this, then you have to satisfy the whether this y is equal to e raised power x is a continuously differentiable. Yes, every exponential function is continuously differentiable. Also, it is a non-decreasing over the interval. So once this satisfy these two conditions, so we can apply this method. In order to apply this, we need the dx upon dy. So for them, we calculate the value of x from here. You can see I can take here, calculate the value of x from here and take the dx upon dy. Once you are finding the dx upon dy, you can calculate the limit of dy. Since x is my 0 to 1, so when x is lies between 0 1, x is my log of y. So y lies between 1 to e. So this is the limit of the y. So under this limit, you can substitute the value of here. What is the meaning of them is f of x. f of x is here. What is the value of the x is log y. So you can take uh, substitute here wherever x is written. So since this is the constant value 1, so you write here as a 1 dx upon dy. It's a modulus value is 1 upon y. Because this value is a positive throughout. So that's why there is no need to write 1 upon mod y. If it is some negative value, it, then you have to take mod y also. We will see in the ne uh, next of the example. So this is a 1 upon y. Hence, the PDF of the y is, this is the domain, 1 upon y, this is the value and otherwise 0. So this is the step you have to follow them. So look at quickly now in the next example. In this case, the PDF is given to you and you have to find the PDF of the y. So since PDF is given, now from here, you can check whether this is a continuous differentiable. Yes, because this is a polynomial. Every polynomial is a continuous differentiable. How you can find the non-increasing or decreasing? You can take the derivative. It, it, it is always be a positive in the domain. So it is a non-decreasing. So it satisfies both the properties. So we can say we can apply this one. So in order to find the dx upon dy, we can calculate the value of x from here. This is the value of the x from here. And hence dx upon dy is this. We can calculate the limit of the y. So since x lies between 0 to 1, it is given in the domain. So x is my here. So from this, you can calculate the value of the y. So under this limit of the y, you can substitute the value of here. So this is the f of x. So f of x is here. What is the value of the x is this. So you can take the value of x and substitute in this. You can see a 2 of x, this one. So after the calculation, you will get this. So therefore, the PDF of this is here over the domain 0 to 8, otherwise 0. Look at the third example. If x is a normal distribution with mean 0, variance is sigma square, then you have to find the PDF of y. So you firstly write the PDF of the x. So since x follows the normal distribution with mean 0 variance, so this is the P PDF. Now you can check whether this function is a continuous differentiable. Yes, because this exponential is a continuous differentiable. It's a non-decreasing. So we can apply this one. So in order to find the dx upon dy, you can calculate the value of x from here. 
this is the value of the x you can take the dx upon dy you can calculate the limit of the y also so since the limit of the x is my minus infinity to plus so under what value of y which satisfy this the value of y is here except y is equal to 0 because at y is equal to 0 log of 0 is undefined so therefore under this limit you can substitute the value of here what wherever the x is written you have to substitute the value of x as log y so this is the here so now you can see this is the mode of y why because the y can take negative value also so therefore the pdf of the y is here over the domain this provided y is non-zero and what is the other case is y is zero look at the next example if x is a uniform distribution over the zero one then you have to find the pdf of the sine xp so again the pdf is a uniform distribution so you can find the pdf as one upon b minus a now from here you can check whether it's a continuous differentiable yes because it's a trigonometric function it's a non-decreasing because the derivative is cos x so we can apply here from this value we can calculate the value of x and calculate the dx upon dy we can calculate the range of dy since x lies between 0 and 1 it is given to you you can calculate the value of the sine inverse so y will be here so under this limit we can calculate so under this value of y you can calculate here so since this is a constant value so it is as such so therefore what is the pdf of this under this domain the pdf is my here whatever you calculate next question is if x follows the random variable having the cdf is given to you then you have to prove that y is equal to f of x is a uniformly distribution so that's again a very simple so firstly you have to find the pdf so since what is the capital f x is cdf so every cdf is a continuously differentiable function and a non-decreasing that's why the property of the cdf so how you can define the value of the x from here so we can apply the this uh, C, uh, transformation method so in order to find we can find the cdf so we can how you find the pdf is from the cdf you can take the derivative what is the derivative of the f dash x so this is nothing but my dy upon dx so from here can you find the value of the dx upon dy this is here so you can substitute the value here what you get this what is the derivative of this is nothing but my this one so it is a one so the c the pdf is my one what is the meaning of that is a uniform distribution of the zero one look at another example is you have to find the pdf of the 2x minus 3 if x has a pdf given to you so if x has a pdf given to you then you have to check whether this as a continuous differentiable or not yes because uh, it's a linear polynomial so we can apply this now in order to find the dx upon dy we can calculate the value of dx from here we get get this and hence dx upon dy is here we can find the limit of dy when x lies between 1 to 5 when x lies between 1 to 5 x value is my here you can get the value of y so from this value from this value of y we can calculate the expression here so therefore the pdf is this one look at quickly on the next example if x is the uniform distribution then you have to find the pdf of the minus 2 log x again it's a uniform distribution you can calculate the pdf of the x you can check whether minus of the log x is a continuously differentiable that's true you can apply them in order to find again the dx upon dy you can calculate the value of the x from here we can get the value of x this therefore dx upon dy here we can calculate the limit of the y when x lies between 0 to 1 the y lies between 0 to infinity so therefore you can substitute the value this here is my 1 dx upon dy is my this so since this is always be a positive so you can write directly here there is no need of the modular sign hence the pdf of the y is my this over the limit 0 to infinity otherwise 0 and what is that distribution here if you remember that uh, it means this is nothing but the exponential distribution so you can remember this result if x follows the uniform distribution minus of the 2 log x follows the exponential distribution next question is if x follow the uniform distribution find the pdf of the y here so if x follows the uniform distribution you have to write here why this is 1 upon b minus a this is 1 upon 2 so once you are finding this then check whether this y of sine 2x is continuously differentiable because it's a trigonometric function here you can apply this one b so from this you can calculate the value of the x firstly x will be 2 by pi sine inverse you can take the derivative you can calculate the limit of the y when x lies between this you can take y as minus 1 to 1 so you can substitute the value of here 
Now since it can't, it may, y can take the negative value also. So you have to take, once you substitute it, you have to take as a modular sign. But since it is a square value, so there is no need of the mod sign. So therefore, the PDF over this domain, domain is my minus in, in this, it, what is the answer of this is here. So that is my required PDF. You can see the one more example here, uh, x has a PDF this, it is given to you, you have to find this value. So again, the simple task is there, you can write this expression as here and we can apply directly this one. Way. So from here, you can find the value of the x, you can find the dx upon dy, you can find the limit of the x, limit of the y from the x. So this is a positive always. So therefore, you can substitute the value directly here and this value will be nothing but my here. Look at the last example here. If x follows the exponential distribution, then what will be the distribution of here? So if x follows the exponential distribution, then you know that the distribution of the x is my here, where lambda is the parameter. Then you have to check whether this follows the continuous dif uh, differentiable and non-decreasing or increasing. That's true. So you can find here. Again, we will follow the same one. You can find the value of the x from here. What is the value of the x is my minus 1 by lambda of log y. You can calculate the dx upon dy. Now you can t uh, calculate the limit of the y when x is greater than 0. What is that? y lies between 0 to 1. So once y lies between 0 1, it's always positive. So here, once you write minus 1 upon this, so it is always positive. So you can substitute the directly value of here. Look at that. This value, x will be my minus 1 by lambda of log y. So it will be here. So there is no need to write the modular sign. Why? Because the y is always be a positive. So therefore, the PDF of the Y will be here. And you may remember that what is the PDF, which distribution has the PDF 1 over the 0, 1? It's a uniform distribution. So it means if X follows the exponential distribution, E raised power minus lambda follows the uniform distribution always. So this is uh, the simple way you can uh, solve, you can find the distribution of any of the uh, random variable if you know the probability. Make sure that the first, these two conditions must satisfy them. So you can try to solve any of the questions. You can feel free to ask any of the queries in the comment box. Till then, follow this link for finding the various videos related to the probability instead. Best of luck students. Happy learning.